Hello. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about frame sizing today. We get a lot of questions here with people asking, how do I know what size of frames I'm wearing, or what size frame would be suitable for me, or how can I tell uh, what the size measurements are of a particular frame? Well, it's fairly simple. But there are three components that mainly make up the sizing of the frame. And the very first one that we talk about is called the eye size. Now, we use the word eye size in the profession, but it's actually a frame size. It's the size of the frame in millimeters of the widest part of the frame from the horizontal portion of one edge of the lens to the other. So let me get this frame in the picture here and you'll be able to see. The horizontal distance from the edge of the frame, right over here, to the other side of the lens, over there. That distance in millimeters is called the eye size. And that size can range anywhere from, say, 38 to 60, 62. And that number is written on the arm piece or the temple of the frame. The second measurement that we are concerned with when we're sizing a frame is what is known as the bridge size. So the bridge size refers to the distance between the two lenses of a frame. So that's the distance going from the edge of this lens, the inside edge of this lens, to the inside edge of that lens. And that's called the bridge. Now the bridge distance is going to be a much smaller number and that number will range anywhere, say, from a 14 millimeters to maybe 22, 24 sometimes. But it's essentially a, the width of the lens and the distance between the lenses. The third measurement is called the temple length, or the length of the arm piece or the ear piece. And that is the distance from the, the, the length of the temple, from the beginning of the temple, all the way down to the edge. Now, that temple length will range from about 100 and say 20 millimeters to maybe 150, 155 millimeters and sometimes even longer. So three measurements then are needed to define the sizing of a frame. Just as a recap, one is called the eye size, which is the horizontal distance, the width of the lens going across from one edge over here to the other and that's in millimeters. And then there's the bridge size, which is from the inside edge of this lens to the inside edge of that lens. And then the temple length, which is how long the arm pieces are on the frame. So three numbers. Usually these numbers are written in this order. The eye size first, then the bridge size, and then the temple. So we might define a frame size as, let's say, 42, which would be the eye size, 16, which would be the bridge, and 145, which would be the temple length. If you take off your glasses, and or you look at a pair of glasses, you'll be able to see that the sizing measurements usually are stamped on the inside arm of the frame. They'll be stamped on the temple, usually in the form of, for example, in this case, it's 38 with a little square separating the eye size and the bridge size. And it's got the number 25 and then 135. So this particular frame has an eye size of 38 millimeters. That's how wide this lens is. 25 millimeters for the bridge, that's the distance between the two, and then 135 is the length of the arm piece or the temple. If you have that information, you're able to size and, and uh, your face correctly with uh, almost any frame. Now, the frame size and which frame size will work for you will depend, of course, on how wide your face is. So, I have a fairly narrow face, so I'm going to be more suitable and comfortable in smaller frames. Frames, for example, that range in size from maybe about 38 millimeters wide for the eye size to 
may be 49 millimeters. So anything wider than that might become a little big for my face. If you have a medium sized face, you probably want to use an eye size that's, let's say, 50 millimeters to maybe 55 millimeters. That means that the width of the frame here would be about 50 millimeters wide, the lens piece, to maybe 55. And if you have a much more larger head, you would use a bigger eye size. So you'd need something, for example, about 56 and bigger. These are just some examples and some standards. You can refine the sizing a little, of course, uh, with, the, with a one by one or two millimeters, and it won't make too much difference uh, in terms of the fitting of the frame on your face. So, hope this little guide was helpful. And if you have any questions specifically about eye size or what sizes might be suitable for you, send us a photo. We can size your frame use. We can size your face using our technology, uh, as long as we have a good measurement of the distance between your pupils, and we can then give you some advice and some guidance on what sizes might be suitable for you. Or if you don't know how to find your frame size, give one of our operators a call and we'll happily walk you through the process. Thank you.